Hello guys, today we are going to see how you can speed up your computer within 5 minutes. Yes, within 5 minutes you can speed up your computer. Uh, there are 3 or 4 steps you will have to follow and uh, you can follow these steps after like every 10 to 15 days and uh, your computer will be up and running without having any issues. It will definitely give you good performance. I mean to say your computer will be responsive. So let's see, uh, the first step is to uh, clear all the temporary files. So in order to clear all the temporary files from your computer, press the windows key with letter R and uh, go to the run box and type there TEMP -E and uh, click OK. You will get all your temporary files which you have in your computer operating system like in the C drive uh, select all the temporary files from uh, the C drive and uh, press shift plus delete make sure guys it should be shift plus delete because it will delete all the temporary files permanently from your computer not temporarily it will not go to the recycle bin it will directly go to the it will be directly deleted that means you cannot recover it so once you press the shift plus delete this option will come up and uh, click on yes and uh, give the permission and uh, it will delete all the necessary files but some of some up and running applications files will, will not delete it so just ignore that you can see only two of them are left over and rest of them are deleted now after deleting, uh, deleting all the temps, uh, temporary files go ahead and uh, type there in the same run box press the windows key with the letter R again the same run box will come up and type, type in there percent temp percent so it's a percent T E M P then percent sign again after typing that in there again press OK you will get uh, these all are uh, the applications the last one was the internet used temporary files and these all are the internal software used temporary files which you have installed on the computer so select these temporary files in the same way by pressing control plus a you can select all the files and uh, to delete it permanently press shift key plus delete again you can see it's asking are you sure you want to permanently delete these 163 items so yes just go ahead and delete and uh, skip if it's not like if some of the files are not deleting just skip that so it's a deleting you can see and uh, once you delete these temp and percent temp files from your computer the next step will be again you will have to press the same way windows key plus r key right and uh, that run box will appear at the left bottom corner and uh, type in that box prefetch p r e f e t c h prefetch and uh, press ok and it will be opening up all you know the unnecessary files which you have in your computer so it's a system un, uh, you know system unnecessary files which is uh, these are the files which is generated by your operating system which is not required which is your Windows operating system you have installed so again select all the uh, files in the prefetch folder by pressing control plus A and again delete all of them by pressing shift key plus delete and delete them permanently one file is not deleting so no problem you can skip right so these three steps must need to be followed and the last one but most important again press the windows key and R and uh, you will get the same run box type in there C L E A N M G R this is the command what it will do it will clean all uh, it's a disk cleanup utility you can see select the drive you want to clean up which is 
So, make sure you will have to select uh, the folder in which you have installed your operating system which is C. So, after selecting that press ok and uh, you can see it is a disk cleanup ut uh, utility and it is uh, written here there. You can use disk cleanup utility to free up to 111 MB of disk space on C. So, make sure you can see all the folders all the directories are coming up where you can select all the folders to get the unnecessary file to be clean up so that you can free you can see I have selected all the folders and now it's become 111 megabyte so what it means it means that uh, this disk cleanup utility have found that 111 megabyte space can be free from my system which is a C drive where my Windows 10 operating system is all installed. So, after selecting all the uh, folders, press OK and it will again give you another option, another prompt, disk cleanup. Are you sure you want to permanently delete these files? So, yeah, go ahead and just click delete, uh, delete files. Then you can see disk cleanup utility is cleaning up unnecessary files from your machine. So, it's going to clean every unnecessary file which should not be on your system, which is these are the dumps files. There you go. So, these four steps if you follow after every 10 days or 15 days, your computer will be up and running without having any issues. It will definitely give you good speed and it will be very responsive also. So, thank you so much for watching video. Please like this video and do subscribe my channel for upcoming videos. Thank you so much.